Greetings and salutations, my fellow Entropians. Guess what I did? I went ahead and bought some new armor. I, I know I've been talking about it this entire time. I'm like, hey, I'm getting some shadow armor. I'm like, happy. We have shadow armor now. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. And uh, let's see. Is it going to work? There it is. There it is, my shadow armor. It's all uh, black, but now... now kind of feels weird because now it kind of doesn't really match the the coat anymore that's okay we have we have this just just in case so now we have wings i've been waiting to bring those wings out for a while now okay but yeah we now have shadow armor now put the uh the plates in it um that were in the ghost armor i put the plates in so now we have five bravo plates which uh Five Bravo plates really do bring up the defensive impact cut and stab for any armor that you have. So uh, it's extra decay, but it keeps you a little bit more protected. Allows you to go to the next level with some smaller armor or something like that. It is what it is. So we actually have shadow armor now. So we're looking at like extra protection from all this other stuff. Now, I don't know exactly what I can hunt like this. Um, so we're here by these little dragon things right here, and I, I kind of want to see if we could take out one of these dragons, so we're going to try a pop dragon right here, and, uh, wow, it's, this thing's slow. Let's, uh, get some, some kiting DPS on it. Oh, jeez, we might actually have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this thing. Let's see, what kind of weapon should I use? Uh, you know what? How much damage is... Oh, wow, look at that damage input right there, 4.1. Now, unfortunately, this armor is limited and will break at some point in time. I wonder how much these things crit for. It's probably going to be bad if they actually end up critting me. But I do not think that we actually have the DPS necessary to take this guy down. Um, effic efficiently, at least. Um, let's see if we can't shoot him with something a little bit bigger. Because I think this right here, it's uh, 20 to 40. And uh, I think this one has a little bit more punch to it. Uh, yeah, let's see. 21 to 40. So it has about the same amount of damage. Eh, it's not good. That's not good. So let's go ahead and see if we can't... Uh, you know what? This thing might... This thing might actually work a little bit better. But it has no amps or anything on it. But yeah, this rifle definitely does do a little bit better. Which, happily, uh, it is what it is. Oh, jeez. He only crit me for like 33 points of damage. Let's get some heals on. Uh, I think this is the only one I'm going to be fighting like this. Mostly due to the fact that, well, I, I really don't want to be spending too much, too much money today. Because I just bought this new armor. And that's, that's, ah, uh, it cost about, probably like, uh, around about, uh, at least a thousand Project Entropia dollars, so about a hundred bucks. Which, I uh, bought it right from, uh, right where you land in Rocktropia, so it, it was, it was, it was a steal, I guess. Probably not. Probably about the same average price as everywhere else. Uh, a little bit more, a little bit less. But I, I, I wanted to give to the people of Rock Trophy a little bit, and I, I guess we just gave to Maximus Legends. So kudos to him for taking my money. And, you know, that's one of the interesting things of, about this game. Like, everyone likes to say that Mind Arc is doing nothing but taking your money. That's not, that's not true. Um, the, the players are in it to, to do the same thing as well. But the thing is, with that, like, you gotta, you gotta understand that whenever you go out and hunt and stuff like that, you are definitely getting loot back. And, you know, Mind Arc does take a small cut, you know, and it's, it's kind of like your job to take that loot and turn it into profits for yourself, or at least, you know, break a little bit even from what you got. Now, in certain instances, you can't do that because the shrapnel drops just keep you hunting. But, like, the actual loot drops, like, if, like, o animal oil drops or anything random and rare drops, that's what you're going to make a little bit of uh, side money off of anyway. So, that being said, you know, always try to see if you can't trade or anything like that. 
it's advantageous for you to, if you don't know how to, try to learn how to. And geez, oh Pete's man, this this pop dragon is not wanting to die. We've been like barreling through him for like quite a, quite a quick minute, but we actually can. That's actually amazing. So yeah, I still need to probably go out and get some some newer guns and stuff like that that are of my level before I should go out for a, a big hunt like this. But I really just wanted to try out to see try out this armor to see what I could go up against and I guess I can take out a pop dragon so hey look at me uh, I'm advancing through Entropia Universe unfortunately I, I'm I'm really scared to see what the decay is going to actually end up being um, because I won't be able to repair that but I will be able to repair the armor uh, attachments that the uh, little plates I'll be able to repair that just just easy peasy Please, Mr. Pop Dragon, I want you, I, I want you to, well, I, I'm sitting here trying to switch over to, why won't it let me? Oh, it's probably broken is why. Oh, great. I need to replace my arsonist chip. Oh, God, it finally broke after all this time. I'm sitting there trying my best to try to switch over to it and it wouldn't let me. All right. I don't know if this guy has crit us yet, but we are definitely going to keep him from killing us if he does. And we'll just go ahead and let's finish him off with the R Matrix. At least I know that's going to do a little bit decent damage. Jeez, these guys are stout and they have a lot of hit points. I don't think we're going to get anything good from this guy, unfortunately. But if we do, ah, it's going to be exciting. I highly doubt it, though. But cross your fingers. It's coming. It's coming. We're going to take this guy down. Our first ever Pop Dragon solo. It's a Pop Dragon provider. And Pops the Magic Dragoon. You have taken down something awesome for $6.70. Yeah, yeah. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, let's see. I think maybe we should probably... I, I know that there are some things that we might be able to take down a little bit faster somewhere around here. So let's try to lift off and figure out where that is. Um, oh, okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it. Don't map and, 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 and fly. Oh, actually, here we go. We didn't have to go very far, did we? All right, here we go. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was around here somewhere. All right, so we are going to be taking out some of these guys, the Motorhead Princes. They should be a little bit easier to take down. So let's go ahead and do that guy. He's coming. He's coming to take us away. And I'm not quite sure what we're going to get for loot. Now, I'm pretty sure the whole skinning and all that other stuff, the added loot professions and stuff like that, um, that it actually helps you get loot with markup from what I from what I understand what I've heard So the higher that is the higher your chance you're gonna get like the random stuff now I don't know if that's true or not um, But if we just get shrapnel from this guy I was out hunting with somebody that was hunting these things exclusively and I was I was actually he oh my god He hurts He actually actually is tearing me up. I guess we don't have as much cut resistance as we thought we did. All right, lessons learned, yo. But it does look like we are defending against some stuff, so we are going to have to watch our healing because I guess he does different types of damage, so there it is. Love, Kevin! Hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wonderful to see you here. Thank you. And, wow, we are... We are doing what it takes i believe and sorry for the lack of entropia videos lately on the youtube channel sorry guys um i have been working on overwatch uh, it's been a while since i played overwatch and i, I kind of wanted to get into the season 10 but it gives me a chance to actually stream and stuff like that which is actually kind of nice but it gets frustrating sometimes i hate losing so much i really do Wow, these things actually, they're dying a little bit faster, and they're killing me a little bit faster, which I don't necessarily like very much. But, 
like I said, we're not running at 100% full capacity with weapons right now. Because I have to go and buy new a whole new slew of weapons. So, it's probably not going to be a... Seriously, bro? Seriously, bro? Really? He hit me really hard. 145 points of damage. Alright, that's fine. You are well within your rights to just go ahead and give me the smackdown. Come on. Oh, big money. There we go. Alright, regen ship. Let's go ahead and start. No, stop hitting me. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Wow. Yeah, these things still do a lot of damage, even with shadow armor, so... Big surprise there. And, uh, you know what? We have to break this baby out. Stop dodging, bro. It's not cool. <laughs> well, I, I'm actually surprised that this is actually working out, because I came in here with ghost armor and this guy was still tearing me apart. Hey, he's still tearing me apart, though, so, I mean, that's kind of not cool. But, at least now I know, maybe still kind of shy away from these guys, but I, st I still need to get those extra weapons and stuff, so... And we might come out here and do a longer run at some point in time. See, if I just had a weapon just like this, but, like, a limited version, so we're not spinning, like, an arm and a leg, maybe, maybe I might have to start hiring a healer or something. He is not much left on this guy. I gotta take this guy out. I really do. And not necessarily, we're not, I don't think we're gonna get anything good, but we might. You never know. But I'm interested in see what kind of loot drops. Alright, dude. It's about that time for you to go away. Go, 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 go. One more shot, one more shot, and got him. Alright, looks like we got a road crew axe. Four dollars and ninety-five cents of shrapnel and ninety cents in socket components. So okay, we managed to do a little something. How much is that road crew axe? It, it's uh, not too god awful much, but it, I guess somebody's gonna want it. Which I don't know. Oh, I totally forgot about these things. Oh, let let's let's see about using this. So I don't know what else we could try to use our shadow armor on. Um, but let's look at some of the decay. The decay rate, I think I bought this thing at full. Oh, wow. Yeah. It, it, it decay, decays kind of fast, so it is very imperative that I try to damage these things quickly as possible. Or, you know, honestly, uh, the faster you take something down, the less decay you're going to get anyway. But I know I kind of am not within the level to actually use this economically. But it's a nice thing to have just in case you want to go have some fun. Which I can always go ahead and get one of those non-skill increase bonus we weapons. And then I, I will be actually fighting at tip-top shape. So that's something to think about. At any level you can go all the way up there and hunt with the big, big players up there. But it is very advisable that you have skills to match. Like evade and all that other stuff. And I can't believe it. These things really do hurt, though. That's sad. But I'm happy. I got new armor. I can finally do things. Like, big things. So let's go ahead and see where where else we can go. I don't know, I don't know where else has really big mobs. I know I'm not going to be able to take out those level 101 spiders. And I know I'm not going to be able to solo King Kong. Okay. But I'm here to tell you. Let's see. What? what uh, what's over here? Oh, that's right. We can probably probably take out some of the Motorhead people in the Motorhead Stadium. A little bit kind of quick and effectively. And it looks like we just spawned right somewhere. Alright, it's a Lemmy's Guardian Outcast. Yeah, this guy's going to go down quick. I don't think we need to match on him. Oh! So the green lemons going after those, what do you call them? The, the motorhead kegs. Heck yeah. Hi, green lemon. He was really cool the other day. Hey, see, yeah. They know. They know all about it. Let's see. I want to go. Wow, that's actually pretty crazy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? What's going on here? Something's happening. 
Did we pull aggro? I think we did. All right, well, we're just going to take this guy out. Everything's deflected. Deflected means it's taking, uh, what you call it, uh, durability damage, but it's just not hurting you. So we got... Why, why, why are you not dead yet? Come on, man. You got to go down. Go down. I, I want to fight something bigger. All right, there we go. Rocktropia records, animal muscle oil, residue, and some shrapnel. All right, which way are we? Motorhead royalty. All right, this might be interesting. There's some, we're passing by some deer. There's a level 23 panther right there. It usually takes me a, a quick minute to take those things down. Let's try motorhead royalty. I don't know, it's level 33. Yeah, this guy, this guy wants a piece of me. All right, let's break out our new Armada Combat Knife, the courtesies of Tarted. What awesome individual that is. And, and that was the room four, apartment four, on our lifestyles of the rich and famous rock tropians. So keep that in mind if you want to go back and watch that video all over again. All right, yeah, these things relatively hurt really bad. Even with the shadow armor. I, I'm thinking that maybe it's because they got some extra damage to cut or whatnot. But we can cut too, so. Am I just looking down on this guy? Jeez. These things are about the same as the princes over there. Oh, oh no. Oh no. We don't have an HD HDNA to, to save us. We really don't. But at least we do got the regeneration chip and we can stand a chance. So that being said, let, let's check out some of the system right here. Alright, uh, okay, so I know we're waiting for the previous action. You know, I wonder if I can, like, change that. Waiting for previous action. Okay, system, skill messages. What if we take away the other? We can't take away the other. Why, why not? It is what it is. Ah. There's, like, so much here. All right, there we go. Oh, jeez, he he does a lot of damage. Via K, the armor is limited, so it's going to break. But that's why why I'm like, oh my jeez, we need to take these things out quick. I guess we're gonna go with we're gonna go with the the horrible most horrible weapon we possibly can to do this, because at least this weapon is right at where my skill level is and un unfortunately unfortunately we are going to be cutting this a little bit short it's probably going to be the last guy that we take down i just want to come out and test my armor and i'm i'm actually really stoked and happy that we got this uh, unfortunately with 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 the whole not being able to spend the too much money this month it, it, it was it was a rather nice investment to go ahead and have this for later. Honestly, I, I'm I'm actually I've been wanting some limited armor for like the longest time. I'm glad I well, like a thousand Project Entropia dollars is how much it cost. So, yeah, it kind it, it 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 is a little bit on the pricey side, but I'm I'm really thinking that if we can get some good use out of it once we get our weapons up. Or at least get some weapons that actually can do something. Which is, or, or at least the weapons around my level, it shouldn't be too much of a cost. It's still going to cost in the long run with the durability damage and stuff like that. But we'll at least be saving a little bit from not having enough DPS. Which, you know, if I K says that's not that bad. I know. Ugh, you know it's bad though. The fact that we're probably still gonna need a healer. All right, what are we gonna get? Pay me back for my armor. Pay me for my armor. Let's go. All right. Wow. Okay. Techno rock socket components. Uh, some shrapnel, and some more socket components. Yeah. This this is this is what's up. This is where it's at. All right. Well, that being said, I think we did pretty good. Rocktropia, guys. I'm I'm actually still enjoying it. Um, although I know I have not been logging on too frequently since season 10 of Overwatch started, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, 
We all got to save money somehow. <laughs> but wow, this is actually pretty good. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. I'm 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 happy that we got some armor now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to repeat myself over and over. I'm happy. So until next time, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And make a comment down below. Uh, what kind of armor do you use? Like, that, like That's the question of the video. What kind of armor do you use? And uh, can, would you love a set of shadow armor? Or any other really high, like, limited armor? And if so, which ones? Oh, Vicus says, sad to see you go. I know, I know. It was a short video, and I wanted to make it kind of kind of a little bit longer than usual so I didn't have to sit through uploading for so long. <laughs> but until next time, guys, peace out.